Hi guys, welcome to Android Guider. So last night Xiaomi released an update for uh, the Poco F1 or uh, the Poco Phone F1 that uh, added uh, 60 FPS recording modes both for uh, 4K and 1080p and uh, we also got uh, support for uh, Wide Wine L1. Now in this video we will be taking a look at uh, each of uh, the 60 FPS recording modes and uh, see how those uh, fare against the 60 FPS recordings of the OnePlus 6. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before uh, we get into the camera samples, firstly I will uh, quickly show you on uh, how to install uh, the latest uh, MIUI beta on uh, the Poco F1 and that is what uh, enables uh, the 4K 60fps recording and uh, support for uh, Wide Vinyl 1. So first up uh, go ahead and uh, download the MIUI beta from uh, the link in the description and uh, once uh, you have uh, done that then uh, power off your phone. So. I'll once your phone is powered off, just uh, reboot into TWRP and uh, you can uh, do that by pressing the power key and uh, the volume up key simultaneously. Once you are into recovery mode, go to wipe, tap on uh, advanced wipe and uh, select Dalvik slash R cache, cache system data. Uh, and uh, make sure you leave internal storage, micro SD and uh, USB OTG unchecked. Then uh, swipe to wipe. Then tap on the home key and uh, go to install. And uh, from here select uh, the MIUI beta that uh, you downloaded. And uh, following that select uh, the disable force encryption zip. And uh, the link for that is also present in the description box. Uh, this is important because uh, uh, otherwise uh, if uh, you don't select this then uh, the your phone will uh, end up uh, getting encrypted and uh, that will uh, wipe your uh, internal storage clean so you will uh, lose everything you will lose everything that is uh, stored on your internal storage so you don't want that to happen so just make sure you uh, flash the disable force encryption uh, zip after uh, installing uh, the MIUI beta. So I have uh, selected both of these. Now I will uh, swipe to confirm flash. Once uh, the installation is complete, just uh, tap on uh, reboot system. And uh, now your uh, phone will boot up. This will uh, take some time, maybe 2 to 5 minutes, so just uh, wait patiently. Okay, now the phone has booted up and uh, in my case it uh, took a bit less than uh, 2 minutes. So you can uh, set up this uh, uh, on your own, I will uh, just uh, skip through this part. But uh, uh, Activate this device. Uh, this means that you will have to use your uh, me account and uh, then log in through that. And uh, afterwards, it's a simple setup. Pro uh, it's a simple uh, setup process. So I will uh, just uh, fast forward that. All right. So now we are onto the home screen. And uh, you can enable uh, 4 to 60 FPS recording by going uh, to the camera application and uh, just uh, grant it uh, the requisite permissions. And uh, then uh, just uh, go to the video mode, uh, tap on uh, the hamburger icon in the top right corner, go to settings, and uh, from here you just have to change the video quality and uh, there you can see that uh, now we have got uh, options for uh, UHD 4K 60fps and FHD 1080p 60fps so you can uh, change the video quality from in here and then go back and now you can just uh, tap on uh, the shutter button and uh, you can get started now the 4K 60fps recording there is uh, no time limit on that uh, on the other hand, if I will uh, quickly show you a uh, OnePlus 6, then uh, the 4K 60fps uh, recording is capped on that. Currently, you can uh, see that uh, we have got uh, 4K 60fps and when I tap on uh, the video mode, you can uh, see that uh, smooth UHD video is limited to 5 minutes in length. And uh, that uh, length 
is uh, extended to 10 minutes if I go for a 4K 30 FPS video. So uh, there is a time restriction on the OnePlus 6, but uh, there is uh, no such uh, time limit on the Poco F1. But uh, I did notice that uh, after I recorded about uh, about an 8 minute video clip, 4K 60 FPS, then uh, the phone did heat up a lot. So that uh, might be an issue for you. Uh, I won't uh, recommend uh, using uh, uh, shooting for that long handheld if uh, you are going to be using a tripod then uh, probably you are going to be fine but uh, don't uh, shoot uh, 4k 60 fps for uh, that long uh, just uh, via your hands so there's no time limit uh, but uh, the phone uh, does heat up this is a 1080p 60 fps sample upscaled to 4k 60 fps from uh, the oneplus 6 and the poco f1 This is a 4K 60fps sample of the OnePlus 6 and the Poco F1. And uh, here is a quick test of uh, the focusing speeds. Now do remember that uh, the POCO F1 has uh, dual PDF while uh, the OnePlus 6 uh, just has a PDF. So in theory the POCO F1 uh, should be more uh, quicker to focus. And uh, the flowers are a bit oversaturated on uh, the OnePlus 6 and uh, they are uh, more uh, true to life on uh, the POCO F1. Here is a test of uh, the video stabilization 4K 60fps on uh, both the OnePlus 6 and uh, the Poco F1. Uh, do remember here that uh, the OnePlus 6 uh, uses uh, OIS for uh, 4K 60fps. It does have EIS but uh, that is not uh, used for uh, 4K 60. That's only meant for uh, 4K 30 or uh, 1080p 30. In both uh, 1080p 60 and 4K 60, the OnePlus 6 uh, makes use of uh, OIS. I'll just uh, jog a bit and uh, that should give you a better idea. Uh, the Poco F1 doesn't have uh, either uh, o OIS or e EIS. Uh, OIS is uh, dependent on the hardware and uh, the Poco F1 doesn't have the hardware for that. And uh, uh, EIS is uh, not enabled by Xiaomi even in 4K 30fps so that's <laughs> no, that uh, isn't there in uh, 4K 60fps at all. This is a full HD 60fps video sample of uh, the POCO F1 and uh, as you can see, uh, what I can see in uh, the camera viewfinder is that uh, the colors are uh, quite natural and uh, in fact uh, the dynamic range is uh, decent as well. So overall I think uh, POCO has uh, done a good job with the 60fps and uh, now I will just jog a bit and uh, that will give you an idea of uh, the video stability. Alright, uh, do remember here that uh, uh, Poco has uh, implemented uh, EIS for 1080p videos. So now you can uh, have an idea on uh, how stable the videos are.
this is a 4K 60fps daylight sample from uh, the Poco F1 and uh, as you can see uh, right now what I can see in the viewfinder is that uh, the colors do appear to be natural and uh, the dynamic range is uh, pretty good as well so overall I will uh, say that uh, uh, Poco has uh, done a great job with the 40-60 FPS and uh, now I will uh, just jog a bit and uh, that will uh, give you an idea of uh, the stability. Well and do note here that uh, Xiaomi hasn't uh, implemented uh, any kind of uh, stabilization there is no EIS there is no hardware for that and also there is no EIS but uh, still it's just uh, good to get an idea on uh, how stable the videos are so I'll just walk around a bit and that will just uh, sum off this video Alright, so that's pretty much it for uh, this video guys. I hope you found this uh, video informational. Overall, uh, I think uh, Poco has uh, done a fantastic job with the uh, 60fps video recording. The only thing that I hope for here is that uh, Poco brings uh, electronic image stabilization uh, to the 4K videos. Currently, we don't have uh, EIS either for 30fps, 4K, I'm talking about 4K, 4K30 or 4K60. So I hope Poco does that, but uh, well, uh, I don't think that uh, they will implement that. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for uh, this video. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel for uh, more such content. So, thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.